we are Dawn and Eric Bowden of Refined and Whimsy, and we are so excited to be a part of the Makers Collaboration Playlist. We hope you'll enjoy this video, and thanks for watching. See this high boy? We're having a situation with the upper drawer sticking, so we're going to take the top off. We're going to turn it into a sideboard buffet. Stick around and... We're going to start with DIY Salvation Solution in Clear. The goal is to hopefully help us protect from bleed through and use less paint. And now DIY and White Swan to the bottom half of the piece. All right, I put the first coat uh, of the bottom half of the white. I actually ran out of white, had to go get some more White Swan. Um, so anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish out the bottom portion with the um, white swan, uh, giving that second coat, filling in these gaps, making it a little more solid. I bought some new pulls I think are gonna look really cool. Um, I'll hold these up to the camera a little bit so you can see them. But I think these pulls are gonna be really cool. Um, of course, got to turn right side up. And I think they'll add a lot of cool, uh, you know, a, a different look to it. I'm gonna finish this, put the second coat on. As I mentioned, I completed the bottom half. And again, just to recap, I'm going to the upper section be black, blending to the white. I'm going to be using my DIY round. And then, of course, now I'm going to tap into the little black dress. Now we're in the blending phase. This is the tricky part. I'm a little bit of an amateur in this area. I've done a lot of research. I think we can pull it off. I do know that in my research, you use a good bit of water, your blending brush, which I have my DIY blending brush, and I put my paint in this wide mouth container because so that I can make sure that the brush fits in there. I'm gonna try this. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Because this was a high boy, it has a cavity section in the top that we're gonna fill with this piece of wood. We're gonna paint it letterpress gray, and then in a little bit, I'll show you how we're going to apply some decor using the IOD stamp and give it a really cool look. Next, we will apply our IOD stamp. When applying an IOD stamp, make sure that you determine where you want it in terms of placement. You will use your ink pad to apply the ink to the stamp. Make sure that you have full coverage. Then once you are ready, be sure that you're rubbing to cover all the detail to make sure that it is applied to the piece. We'll do this a couple more times and we think this will make a great runner to the center section. Now that we have the decorative wood insert piece completed, we just add tight bond original wood glue and this will secure the piece in place.
Now to apply DIY Big Top Sealer using the Wooster Foam Brush. This in preparation so we can apply a IOD transfer to the front of the piece. Hang out with us as we begin to wrap this up. The cool thing about transfers is you can cut them uniquely to fit your piece and give it a special look. Now that we have the transfer in place, we will rub each piece thoroughly with the application tool provided. This will help the transfer to adhere to the piece. In the last step, Dawn will take a soft cloth. This is called burnishing by rubbing on the transfer. We will add the last coat of sealer. And here's the final reveal. We love how this project turned out. Please like and share this video. More video uploads coming on the Refined and Whimsy channel. Thanks for watching.